A battle over a historic lake and its surrounding area has come to a head with a lawsuit filed against two local cities. Our Lindsay Buckingham joins us live now to explain. Hi, Linz. Hi, guys. Well, Horseshoe Lake in Shaker Heights has been around since the 1800s. It was drained a few years ago because of dam failure, but new restoration plans are sowing division in the community. Yesterday, a group called Friends of Horseshoe Lake filed a lawsuit against the cities of Shaker and Cleveland Heights. These two cities leased the parkland from the city of Cleveland. The group says the local governments didn't honor their lease agreements by restoring Horseshoe Lake after it was drained. The North, Northeast Ohio Regional Sewer District has a $14 million plan to improve the area, but it doesn't include restoring the full lake. Both sides agree the damaged dam needs to be fixed but can agree on the lake's future. Restore a stream habitat and really take a, what is now an accessible six acre uh, park uh, within the parklands and expand that to 60 acres of accessibility with more natural lands, more stream re restoration, which is better for water quality. Should we be sensitive to stormwater runoff and stormwater management? Absolutely, but there's more than one way to do it. And we believe that the lakes are that meaningful to the region. We've done some cost estimates that suggest saving the lake could be done for approximately the same amount of money as they're going to use to basically eliminate the lake. Now, signs in support of the lawsuit can be seen all over the Horseshoe Lake area, and a petition has garnered more than 2,000 signatures. The sewer district told me the restoration plan could take up to four years to complete. Both cities named in the lawsuit have about four weeks to respond. Coming up at 5, I'm going to break down more of the Northeast Ohio Regional Sewer District's plans for the land. Mm. All right, lots going on there. Lots going on. All right, thanks so much. Thank Love you. that, guys.